post a few almonds to decorate the top. Uh-oh, Anne says, don't worry, although today I really need you to keep an eye on um, these. Watch them, because if not, they will burn. Um, I just got so much on my mind. So, all right, we're going to let those hang out and toast. When we toast nuts, the reason that we do that is because um, it releases the oils and brings them back to life and really just makes them taste a whole ton better. Uh, but uh, you have to be real careful because quickly nuts can go from toasted to burned. That's why I don't toast them in the oven because then I tend to walk away from them and forget them. If I you know, leave them on the skillet over low heat, um, I hopefully will keep a better eye on them. You don't need any butter in there or anything like that. Just a dry, nonstick skillet, and then we've got a couple tablespoons of almonds. All right, I'm going to get to work on the, the filling that's going to glue this all together. And I'm using two boxes, small boxes, 3.4 ounces of lemon, instant lemon pudding. But don't worry, by the time we're all done with this, it's not going to taste anything like instant pudding. It's going to be fantastic. It's more going to be more like a lemon mousse. All right. You know what, I, as I'm packing up for this giant trip, I think to myself, and I keep telling myself this, if you forget something, you can always pick it up. You know, but it's so stressful leaving, especially when you're leaving for a while, and it's like, oh, I hope I have everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. We'll find out when I get there, right? Okay, so now I'm going to use three cups of cold milk. Oh, what kind of milk? Thank you for asking, Anne. Lamer's milk, we love. June Dairy Month, so they've got all sorts of fun things going on at Lamer's. Really cheap ice cream cones for the kids, and you can kind of see. They've got the window overlooking the dairy, so you can actually see how they make the milk and do all their fun stuff up there. Okay, so three cups of cold milk. In with our two boxes of instant lemon pudding. Checking on my nuts. They're looking good. So you know what I did? I went to the library and I don't know who told me to do this, but it is, I've been doing it more and more and it works great. And I got a bunch of books on tape and they are great. They're a great way to make those road trips go by. And I haven't had a ton of time to read, so it, it's perfect. So that's what I did. I got about four or five books on tape to, oh yeah, Greg says tape or CD. Okay, smarty, CD. But it, they used to be on tape back in the olden days. Thank you for catching that. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different berries here. I've got strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and that's why I call this a very berry lemon trifle. And then I just went to festival and picked up an angel fruit cake, one of the big ones, or you could do two of the loaves. And I'm just gonna cut that into little, about one to two inch pieces. You know, nobody's actually gonna be measuring, so Anne's gonna measure. You guys are giving me the business today. And of all days, I don't need the business today. I'm going to make you come over and help me pack. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to cut this up into little cubes. I love this. Uh, and this is a pretty guilt-free dessert. Angel food cake, fresh berries. I mean, I something you can be. Yeah. Good point. Ann said, have that with a black bean burger. We made those earlier this week. Ann really liked those. Mm -hmm. So did Abby, our producers. You doubted me, but I've had them before and they're delicious. The black bean burger. Everybody loved those. Okay, so we're going to take some of those cake cubes and just put them down in the bottom of our glass trifle dish. Uh, you can pick these up just about anywhere. They're very inexpensive. And if you don't have one of these, a clear glass bowl works great. This dessert, and it's very much also on trend to do these in minis, individual desserts. So you can do them, layer them in wine glasses. You can layer them in, you know, martini glasses. Uh, just those pretty parfait glasses that you don't use very much. Even just tumblers. I'm going to remove those from the heat. They're starting to get a little bit toasted, and they'll continue to toast in the pan, and I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so let me get back to the pudding here. I'm going to do a little bit of lemon zest just to kind of crank up that fresh lemon flavor.
and I'm just using my microplane. And then I've got a, one of the large containers of Cool Whip that we've let thaw, and I'm going to do about three quarters of this, fold it in here, and all of a sudden this lemon pudding with that fresh lemon zest is going to taste like a lemon mousse. We're going to save the rest of that though to decorate the top. So I'm going to fold that together into our pudding, which started to thicken a little bit. And this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Okay. Now we're going to start layering our berries, and we're going to do this in three separate layers. So we'll start with the strawberries, and we're going to do a layer of strawberries on top of our angel food cake. And then we're going to do some of our pudding, which we're going to call lemon mousse. Now we're going to do some more cake. This is also um, going to be a nice dessert for all those summer backyard barbecues. Uh, I get a lot of visitors up to our cottage in the summer, and I love to wow everybody with a real fancy, fun, beautiful dessert like this. But I don't want to be in the kitchen the whole time because I want to be out enjoying my day. So what I'll do is I'll throw something like this together, one of my trifles together in the morning, and then park it in the fridge. And then after dinner, when everyone's you know thinking that dinner was really good and maybe they you know like something sweet, I say, hey, I've got a, a special dessert, and I'll run to the kitchen, dress this baby up, which I'll show you how we dress it up, and bring it out, and wow, get a bunch of oohs and ahs, which I love that. So a little bit more of the cake, and now we're going to do another layer. We're going to do um, blackberries and blueberries, or just straight up blueberries, or just straight up blackberries. So you get it, we're going to basically have layers of the different colors of fruit, the different types of fruit more of the pudding. So this is a nice one for um, 4th of July and those summer patriotic holidays. I think it's just going to have those nice red, white, and blue colors, although it's more a, little, more a little more yellow, but still, you get the idea. Okay, so one more layer of cake. the Fox uh, River Trail this weekend on Father's Day. That's what Bob wanted to do. And oh my gosh, it was the first time out on the trail. And it was so lovely. It's just beautiful. It was a perfect day. Um, had both kids with us. And when you're, you can get both teenagers to go along with you, and they actually had a really good time. It was just one of those days. Bob and I looked at each other and we were like, wow, this is one of those days that you just won't forget. That's for sure. It was a really special day. And I'm hoping that's not going to be the last time I do that trail. And when we're doing the trail together, you can have a little of that angel food cake. That's my present to you to nibble on, okay? Thank you. Okay, so one more last layer of fruit. And these are the raspberries. But you can really kind of do these in any order you like. Strawberry season is a little late this year. Um, just talk to one of the strawberry growers, pick your own, and they're a good couple weeks away. So. But the strawberries at the grocery store right now are, are fantastic. You can hardly wait till the, the fresh ones come. All right, so one more layer of this lemon pudding mousse wonderfulness on top. And then at this point, you get this parked into the refrigerator. And loosely covered with plastic. And then you get home after a long day and you have a really nice dinner, and like I say, then you run to the kitchen, and you say, wait, 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 I've got dessert. And you finish this up with a nice big, I call it a cloud of whipped topping. So this is that reserved whipped topping. I'm gonna do a little bit of more of the lemon zest just to let everybody know that it's a lemon dessert maybe a few berries and a few nuts 
And we'll decorate this up and show you what it all looks like in just a minute. But this is so gorgeous, even as is. And we're not done yet. So a few of these wonderful toasted nuts. And a few berries and lemon slices. And there you go, my very berry lemon dessert. Recipes are on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods.